Hello guys, uh, as you can see, I'm still working on the topic of 3344 and uh, no matter what happens to this channel or my other two channels, uh, just stick around for new updates uh, on either of them. If one gets blocked, the another get, gets blocked and I'm going to continue on third. If the third gets blocked, I'm going to make a fourth. So no matter what you do just stick around and uh, know that youtube censorship is available although i thank youtube for uh suggesting me plenty of videos on 3344 topic well uh, after after i make another video and another video and so on so i mean they do a great job suggesting me these 34 uh, 34s so um for example, this uh, is was suggested to me today. I'm going to warm you up with this one. Um, and I like Jimmy Dore, sure. He's, uh, he looks kind of funny, but look at his shirt. Uh, I think it's not uh, quite uh, the color he is trying to uh, show to us. It's an orange color, and we know orange is 33. But no matter what actually he does on this video, he is promoting this uh subject i would say actor of uh new world order or bomb battles agenda uh, reset agent again provocateur and so on so as you can see the wall is the the, the wall she is she is using behind her she well she calls her herself a she but i'm not quite sure that that, that is she but anyway uh, this is the so-called the blair white project uh, and blair white of course that's probably her pseudonym it's not quite that she is uh, uh this name we we don't want to just go ahead and uh, search for for the name but anyway the way she presents herself at this orange man show is blair white and she also has uh this uh, miss ms at ms blair white so let's try to find out if we got anything uh here in uh in description also uh, you can probably see once i make it uh zoomed in a trans youtuber and political commentator so basically trans well this doesn't mean anything right so youtuber you know youtuber is 33 and i've been showing you this again uh 33 and uh, the pink brick wall pink brick wall is 39 also 33 um, because 39 is 33 is a hidden form of it as you can see 39 is a hidden form of 33 so pink green pink uh, brick wall is uh, another form of 33 and so this youtuber 33 and a political commentator also let's check political commentator maybe this gives us more clearance on that 77 and 90 90 is another hidden form 90 uh, let's see uh, 90 90 is another hidden form of 33 uh so um that's <laughs> that's probably it for for us to check but we supposed to check also this one ms blair white ms blair white white well, doesn't give us anything right but if we add at because she uses this here as at and we get a 66 by the way 66 is also a hidden form of 33 because if we uh, check on 33 we're gonna know that that uh, it's also a 66 
in Pythagoras. So we also have to take a look on, at these 38, 38, but you know, um, let's just stick around with 66 and 99s, 88s and stuff like this, which are more remarkable. Of course, 38, we're going to have to keep in mind that it's another hidden form of 33. Okay, so basically what we have here is uh, we have, a, let's see, a video from YouTube that was recommended to me uh, today. And this video is about this trans YouTuber and political commentator Blair White recently attended a Pride event in Texas in order to ask rally goers about politics, trans issues, and us social issues. But basically what we see through the video, because we also have to, you know, to be um, to be relevant uh, to the topic also, we have to see what she is doing there. Uh, she is asking questions to other gay people because she, she is uh, supposedly gay, although we only know that she is trans. But anyway, so Jimmy Dore kind of promotes this agenda, opening the overtone window in, in maybe second or third phase of opening the window because he's talking like, well, okay, she's trans, she's going to LGBT, why don't you, you know, kind of communicate, ask, answer the questions, the direct questions, not just saying F off to her, uh, why do you do that? So she he's legitimizing a trans as a normal uh, he's also legitimizing the, the the trans interacting in the political issues, right? So legitimizing them as as a as a full, uh, fully acceptable uh, part of political agenda. Okay, because the questions uh, she is asking them uh, about like gay marriage and who was the first president. Uh, it was not Clinton, it was not Obama, it was Trump to allow gay marriage. So they kind of put in the Trump in a position uh, to look good for gays and LGBTQ, although Trump is presenting himself as a conservative Republican. And plenty of these conservative Republicans probably don't like, wouldn't like this information. But... Uh, they are inverting the uh, common sense here and presenting it as a good thing for Trump, trying to mock these people who hate Trump. And uh, we all know uh, that uh, Trump is also orange. So it's like a pass orange to orange. And so, um, I mean, this is uh, provo provocative actions by this trans YouTuber. Uh, just to legitimize the the, the the topic of and uh, bring it closer in the narrative to so-called MAGA or Trump. Trump, okay? Let's, by the way, check MAGA. I never check MAGA. Uh, it's uh, 33. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, it's only 9 and 13. But if we go to Trump MAGA, maybe we will have a 33. Yes, we have a 33 and 38. Just, just told you to keep that in mind that 38 is another hidden form of 33. Okay, so let's go to the further second video. Although I did turn it on accidentally, sorry. Uh, so we have, uh, <laughs> this one was also recommended to me today. The rise of anti-whiteism in the media. Probably my video is going to be demonetized for, you know, showing all these videos. But these people make money and it's okay on such videos. So um, what brought my attention is not the topic itself because the topic is obviously important. It's supposed to be uh, shown on the mainstream everywhere. But what they do is they channelize it. Uh, to the so-called uh, communication or communication sewers, 
the place there <laughs> no regular people would go for just 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 to walk around because it stinks there and so on so they put this topic of anti-whiteism lgbtq all this stuff into these political sewers because you know nobody's gonna be you know trying to interact with this topic if you're on a mainstream so these bloggers are popping all this and there and just trying to legitimize this topic to make it more clear to the public it's okay to talk about this stuff and so on but well by the way this particular blogger misha petrov why i put her a second by the way after the trans woman because the name is misha misha is russian a uh, small name for michael okay uh petrov is also a, a surname for for a family name for 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 the guy because the 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 female uh petrov would have a last name petrova okay with the a in the back but let's just take a look for michael michael he's 33 and we have a uh, petrov petrov uh, we also have a 33 and a scottish right 32 in addition okay so um, they are trying to make sure these people are communicating on this topic of this these people are totally under control and what these people do is just pretend that they know something important but basically if you watch the whole video you won't find a single talking point that could be used in any discussion about this with with these people who are for or against this topic i mean what she's doing is just talking the topic over and over and over just like the guy john levy we all know or you know whoever just you know just name me new earth they just uh, reviewing the topic uh, you know chewing the facts uh trying to just like a talk show uh host like i mean nothing really important no talking point no call to action here nothing uh, all we see is these 33s popping up everywhere in recommendation we have to watch them because these guys provoke uh provoke uh the the masses to be split because once we split we're easy to control once we split we will do those things they want us to do when uh, when the the x hour is gonna be reached and we gonna hear the clock ticking uh countdown so on so what we're gonna do first we're gonna you know try to eliminate all those who are not alike us including these guys who are promoting anti-white whiteism and so on so what they want us to do is just you know do a crime in the future uh, we are talking about the important topic but the important talk topic which is promoted the way it's promoted it's promoted by the 33s who could possibly be even a trans here because calling himself a uh, name for a boy misha and call himself with the last name petrov by the way we don't have this uh sex issues with uh, the last names in uh, uh in many countries because uh you just use the same last name for men and women but in russia for example we have difference so that's topic is so but here we have a clear example probably russian origin person uh, pretending she is a female but using intentionally using the first name of a guy and the second name without a here uh, i don't know if this ignorant if this is ignorance or really a boy here because the face is uh, <laughs> not telling me a lot for example in this current situation okay so double third three here also uh, okay now we have a, a debate reaction by uh by plenty of guys here uh because you know I, what i wanted to tell you about this nn case that i've just seen because during debates it was uh, the debates were uh Debates were let's They're see. running on fear. 
The baits were um, made by CNN. As you can see, CNN here, also this NN here, News Nation, and they use it, use it NN in their logo. And here you also see a CNN. So, um, so I always wanted to solve this top topic. I mean, this problem: why CNN is not thirty-three or some somehow related to thirty-three? So I wanted to just, you know, take a look at it one more time. CNN, as you can see, it's only thirteen, but we have to. Uh, if this is a hidden form of uh, of a thirty-three or something, we have to solve the problem. So first letter is C. We know that C is used as C uh, sometimes in in uh, in the communications and text messages and so on. So uh, C is pronounced exactly like C here. So um, as we can see, C is also uh, not a thirty-three, but it has a hidden form of a double E, which is an inflection makes a thirty-three, right? So anyway, we have a C. And we also have N N here, so also doesn't give us anything. So probably um, we should use them the correct way because N N is supposed to be pronounced like this N N, right? So also mm, we don't have the solution here, but if we add it a double N both times at the N N sound. Because they use a double N and double N here. So why don't we use a double N each time? N, N, because the name N pronounces exactly like the letter N, right? And we don't, we, we are not, you know, surprised to put down and spell the, uh, such uh, three letters as N, A, N, N when we spell N, because we know. And we already supposed to be, you know, familiar with that. Although it doesn't seem, you know, logical. But anyway, we use it. So if we print exactly like this, C, double E, and N, double N, and N, double N. And we have a 33, voila. Because, you know, that's a form, the form of hiding the... Mm, uh, the fact of uh, this network being uh, a part of this uh, so-called agenda. And if we go back here, we will find out that plenty of people discuss their opinion here. Trump-Biden debate, what a great new information. Look at the faces of people <laughs> like, like Comey, Comey face. He is not very... Uh, he is not very pleased with what Bill O'Reilly said or this guy said because they want um, Biden to stop his campaign, right? And if you remember what was happening uh, a year ago, I had a chat with, um, let's see, are we truth? Um, black, black spot. See if we have this video. No, we don't have it. As you can see, even mm, even my video cannot be found just like this. Although we just have to just do uh, whatever over here. If we do it in in this search engine, RV Truth Black Spot video, and we have it over here in first place. Black Spot. They with they live Truth RV Truth my video over here. So. And we see that this video was streamed 11 months ago. Uh, and it was exactly on this topic. So if we go to this video, by the way, black spot, black spot. Spot, Let's see, black spot. Is the thing the pirates give to each other. When they are pissed off of someone, and you want to get rid of that guy, and just marking him as a, as a, as an unwanted person that's gonna die soon, or maybe be excluded from from the share, or just you know killed or taken away or whatever. So I I called that video black spot because I was saying uh, that Biden is gonna be 
taken down soon before the elections and all these guys here are dreaming about taking Biden down and putting somebody by the way we also talked about RFK Jr uh, which was Robert Robert as you can see 33 Kennedy Kennedy also 33 so all these guys are uh, everywhere uh, <laughs> watching each other's back I would say so let's hear what I was saying he, he back here in uh, a year ago in chat with Russian vids so take a listen or what's happening she was saying he she had he had a problem with root canal and if you go with root canal is uh, Chaldean 33 uh for yeah. example this uh situation with sandbag right he is saying exactly i got sandbag because I, I don't hear sandbag it i hear i got sandbag so he's like swallowing uh swallowing the the end and if you actually understand what he's saying he's saying i got sandbag so basically i was talking about 33 44 a year ago which wasn't uh, quite an issue for me but you know i was already marking these issues and uh, so on so so he yeah. like <laughs> yeah you know, you know what if you're gonna jump in here because you're 100 percent correct people think oh it's nonsense no because for example uh dr fauci he showed up um during the fake pandemic and he was wearing a mask with penguins on it and penguin in numerology is 33. so why would you have a bunch of penguins on a mask during this um so-called pandemic and why would you have all these all these i mean there's all these penguins all over so it's you yeah. have to, and you're, you're spot on about the sandbag and about root canal there's hidden little easter eggs and why what they're presenting so i i, I really want to thank you for uh for pointing that out uh, uh oh she yeah doctor put dr fauci and then penguin uh face mask and you'll see it you oh, should see it it's, uh, yeah. penguins or penguin yeah, um, singular yeah. singular penguin penguin yeah 33 exactly as a uh, penguin was in batman movie right <laughs> yeah Why? yeah yeah, exactly. The they they love guy and talking about Devita, right? <laughs> Perfect, spot on. Work. Yeah, it's exactly exactly right. There, people have no clue about these things, and and all that's in plain sight. Yeah, look at the pose. By the way, he, he's like, why he's doing this at the same time, saying like, yeah, he's, yeah. I got Zion back. So he's yeah. saying he's like, look at yeah. me. I'm I look like Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> and well, one thing I want to mention too. Well, one thing I want to mention too, there, Phil, is with with Joe Biden is very important. So these are literally just actors on the world stage. So you know he's an older guy, and they sometimes they love to fool the public. They'll have the mask, and I have it on my channel with the man. Yes, um, I was supposed to show it right now. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you've been making the video, and uh, I also made a little video. Uh, didn't see you doing it. Yeah, it was a short. Oh my gosh, that's so that's the viral video, actual viral video that was viral in the internet, and it was pointing. It was Belfast, but I actually found the original video. It was in Dublin, and I'm asking, like, what about the mask? So yes, they lied about Belfast, but what about the mask? And so that was. Exactly at the same period when he was, uh, that poll came out that 66%, 67%. So actually he, he pop out, uh, popped out recently with this thing. It's hard to tell, but it's, it's clearly As you can see, he has marks on his face. Yeah. I was also decoding it and also it has 33, 32s if you Google this uh, device that he's supposed to be and wearing. Is, uh... But uh, in Russia, pe people uh, actually were making fun of it and said like uh, he was wearing something like this. And so. It's, cool. it's a duality. That's why I like superheroes. Um, a lot of them wear masks, you know, in comic books. And of course, a lot of celebrities, they have dual names. 
like uh, Beyonce is also known as Sasha Fierce. They love the two. You know, it's not just one name. They like to, and that's why their their god, their false god, Lucifer, has multiple names. They love that duality aspect. But what I'm getting at is, yeah, they've been doing the whole mask thing for the longest time. And uh, Joe, the reason with Joe Biden is too, um, he could be in multiple places uh, because you know it's obviously not him. Just like Madonna even a mention a mentioned one time, she goes, "I have three lookalikes," and she said it was for security person uh, uh, reasons. But it's so they're not burnt out. So Joe Biden could be at home or uh, somewhere, and they can have a replacement flying and going somewhere. And it's not even really him. So basically, this video um, is very long, has different parts here. Uh, you might as well take a look. What I was saying is uh, the logic was that black spot was given to Joe Biden and he is uh, going to be replaced because he is too old and he is not fit. Uh, so the script says, says that he is too old and he is not fit. Although we all saw how he was standing for 90 minutes during the debate. Uh, he was staring, he was opening the mouth, he was, you know, pretending he's very old. And uh, so that's a very interesting case. And if we take a look at this picture, for example, this is a screenshot after the debate. Uh, as you can see, the black spot is still on Biden. And another thing, uh, the debates were... Uh, conducted at June 27. Uh, let's see. So, uh, as we know, Trump 2024 is 33. Biden 2024 is also 33. And we can see as June 27, 27th is 33. Uh, and also 90 minutes, right? It was 90, 90 also 33 and as a result as you can see we see this total disappointment by the democrats as they couldn't have seen that he wasn't fit for for being the president for a long time i think last year was the year everybody saw that but they didn't want to see that they ignored that fact and now we see the drama with this story uh, unfolding in front of our eyes here and we can see that Biden is supposed to go before the elections or just drop out from the campaign and uh, the topic is that uh, Carlson said that he's uh, he's uh, ears <laughs> his ears his agent in obama uh family said that obama is not um uh, is not satisfied with biden not dropping out so probably we should have seen the um michael obama michael uh, obama to step in the campaign but everybody's saying that michael obama is not uh planning to do that <laughs> although we we don't know for sure who's gonna be that he's gonna be um the uh, california governor or who's gonna be that maybe Kamala harris who knows uh the final moment is the final moment we don't know so it's gonna be in august okay uh so uh